All right, guys, in the previous videos, we defined the action creators and the reducer function. In this video, let us create our Redux store and provide it to our React application. This again is no different from what we have seen earlier in the series. Within the Redux folder, I am going to create a new file called store.js. Within this file, we create our store for which we use the create store method from Redux. So import create store from Redux. Notice that we are now using the ES6 import syntax. Next, let's make use of this method. So const store is equal to create store. The create store method accepts a reducer function as its parameter. The reducer we have for our application is the cake reducer. Let's import it and pass it in as a parameter. Finally, let's export store as the default export. All right, at this point in time, what we have done is created our Redux store. The next step is to provide this store to our React application. And this is where the React Redux library makes its first appearance. To provide the Redux store to our React application, the React Redux library exports a component called provider. I'm going to open the file app.js and at the top, import provider from React Redux. Next, I'm going to wrap the div tag in the return statement with this provider component. But hang on, how does the provider component know about our Redux store? Well, we need to specify that as a prop. So at the top, I'm going to import store from the Redux folder. So import store from Redux slash store. Now on the provider component, we can specify a prop called store and pass in the store that we have just imported. One point which is important is where you provide the store. Typically, it is at the top of the app component as you can see here in our example. That is simply because doing so will provide the store to basically every component in your application component tree. All right, that is pretty much the code for creating a Redux store and providing it to our React application. The last bit remaining is to understand how our React component can dispatch an action and subscribe to changes in the store. I'll see you guys in the next video.